All right, welcome back. And in this video, we're gonna go through five of the most useful programmer gear that I've found. And this is gonna be kind of like weird EDC items for programmers, if that makes sense. So I don't wanna bring up just like, yeah, your laptop charger, your laptop, your phone, those sort of things. I wanna bring up things that I've found throughout the years that have been like a little bit of like odd bits and pieces and pieces of equipment that I tend to use a lot, but that are kind of random and that I think a lot of people don't know about. Trust me, <laughs> throughout the years I've bought a lot of random stuff. So these are the five items that I actually use a lot and have found to be the absolute most useful and I think that you will get a lot of value out of as well. So let's start off straight away with the first one, which is the rollable USB charger, which is like a multi-charger. So essentially it has a micro USB, it has a USB-C, and it also has a lightning port cable. So essentially this thing will charge all your items and it's also rollable, which means that it doesn't take up a lot of space, it doesn't get tangled in your backpack. And I just find this super useful. I use this every time I travel. Overall, it's just a really useful item. I really highly recommend that if you're gonna put something with a cable inside your backpack, and try to look for something that has like a rollable uh, thing because it actually, this saves you a lot of like hassle when it comes to untangling cables. And also I can actually throw like five of these in my backpack if I would want to. I don't have five of them, but, but I could throw five of these like rollable cords into my backpack and they won't get tangled with each other and they won't get tangled uh, with themselves. So that's super useful for me. And uh, this has saved me a lot of times when I need to charge something or need to plug something in somewhere. And next, I think we have the most odd item, I would say, on my list. And this is the one that I think most people probably haven't seen before. But this is actually a little, like, MagSafe charger thing. So essentially, what it will do is it has this little USB-C connection that you plug into your laptop. And then you can plug in your laptop charger, if it's a USB-C, into this thing, and it essentially connect via MagSafe and it charges your laptop, which means that if you accidentally bump into your cord, this will just release and the laptop won't go on the floor and break. Uh, so this has actually saved my laptop a few times. I haven't found it to be too difficult to get it out, so I haven't had to use that tool, but if this would get stuck, you actually have a tool to get it uh, loose again. Uh, this, I think, is one of the more random items, but something that I found while I was like cruising Amazon. And I will also leave links to all this gear in the description, so if you want to check it out, you can. And then the next item is a little USB-C or USB, regular USB uh, stick that I actually have on my key ring. And I really like this because I was actually looking for something that had a USB-C connection, because nowadays most laptops just have USB-C ports. So it's really good to just have this to be able to plug it straight in and you don't need an adapter and then you can plug in a USB stick. And this has 32 gigabytes of memory, which is enough for me. I keep a couple Linux distros on this. And it's also really useful to just have this on hand because sometimes you just need memory of some kind and you just need to put something on something else very quickly. And uh, this has come in very useful for that. So I highly recommend it. It's also very small, so it fits on my key ring or keychain, and uh, I don't really notice it in my pocket, so that's also a very good bonus. Okay, so now you also need, of course, a laptop of some kind, and I recently got this new laptop, which is the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, and I was using the Galaxy Book Pro 360 before, and now they have sent me the new updated version. The performance speed is just really awesome with the new 12th gen Intel Core i7, and the super fast LP DDR5 RAM is really fast and delivers a super smooth user experience. It also has an advanced cooling system designed to be cool and quiet as you blaze through your intense workloads. It's a thin, light, two-in-one laptop that works perfectly with the S Pen, and with the enhanced low latency of the pen, you can write and draw smoothly like you would with a real pen, which is really nice to do. It's something that you just have to experience yourself. 
It also comes with this gorgeous Super AMOLED touchscreen display that is just awesome to look at. And I've actually used the last gen model of this laptop for the past year now and I've really enjoyed using it and I'm looking forward to using this a lot more for the foreseeable future as well. And so yeah, thank you to Samsung for sponsoring this video and being a long-term partner of this channel. And if you want to check out this laptop for yourself, you can go to samsung.com and check out the great performance of this laptop. Right, so now for item number four, it's another rollable cable, but this time it is a ethernet or internet cable. And essentially this is also something that saved me a lot of times because sometimes, especially for me, when I'm uploading like heavy duty, like video files to my Google Drive and for editors, those sort of things, I sometimes actually need a wired connection to the internet because it's just a lot faster and so, Sometimes the Wi-Fi just isn't fast enough and connecting it with this actually speeds up my internet a lot and helps me just upload things faster. So this is something that I've used a lot and it's also something that I think a lot of you guys will find valuable. And also like most of these items, it's fairly cheap. So uh, I highly recommend it. It's not that long. You can get longer ones if you want, but I've also found that generally when I need, when I need an internet cable like this, I will just move my laptop to where the Wi-Fi router is and I will just connect it to that. And it also saves some space in my backpack. And now for the last item on this list, and I really couldn't end this video without including a power bank, which is something that I use a lot. This one is not the one that I would recommend because this is actually a really old one that I have. And uh, it only has like regular USB ports. And it also has, it charges via micro USB, which I don't really like because who uses micro USB. So I'm probably gonna update this, but still having a power bank, I think is super useful because when you're on the road, when you're doing things, when you're at a cafe, you might run out of battery and having something like this is super useful. And I also actually have a bonus item related to this, which is a regular battery charger. This is not something that I would call an EDC item or something that you'd carry every day. But this is something that I highly recommend actually looking into and getting because this is something that I didn't even think about before, but I was just buying regular batteries for my home and I didn't, didn't even consider the fact that you could get like rechargeable ones because it's just such a, I think it's just such a part of the general culture, like what people do. They just buy batteries and they're just like want single use batteries throw them away or like recycle them. But something that's actually a lot better for the environment is buying yourself a battery charger and then buying yourself some uh, rechargeable batteries. I highly recommend the IKEA ones because apparently those ones are really good. I'm not an expert, but they're supposed to be really good. I bought a lot of them. And essentially that means that if you stock up on some of those IKEA rechargeable batteries, then once you've bought a supply that covers all your devices, you won't have to buy batteries ever again in your life, essentially, because you'll have this thing and you'll be able to recharge them. And I think that's just such a life hack and it's such a good thing for the environment as well. So uh, I highly recommend getting one of these. I'll link this in the description. And also what you wanna get is you wanna make sure that your charger that you're getting actually is able to charge the batteries to a certain percentage where you can track that. And you also wanna have the ability to, I don't know what that, this is called, but I think it's called like, restoring the battery, something like that, because these lithium ion batteries that you buy that are rechargeable, after years and years of use, they will lose a little bit of their power and they'll basically decharge a lot faster. So what this can do is it can actually decharge the batteries and then recharge them, decharge them and recharge them. And it will do that a couple times, I think. And with that process, it will essentially, I think, restore the batteries to somewhat closer to what they were when you bought them. So they'll be almost as good as new. And uh, yeah, this is something that I think is really good for the environment. And I think you really should look into getting one of these. I have the Techno BC 1000. Again, I will link this in the description so you can check it out. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend getting this. And I thought this was a good platform for me to kind of push an item like this, because I think it's good for the environment. It's bad to just throw away batteries. Even if we recycle them, it's kind of bad to just use single use batteries when you can actually use rechargeable ones. So yeah, something that I didn't think about before, but that I've actually used a lot since I bought it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this list of items and I hope you found something that you think is useful. And let me know if you have any items that you think I should try out as well, because I really like getting this sort of gear and I think it's super interesting to just find new things that are useful and valuable. And even if they're not super valuable, 
I might be up to buy them anyway because I think it's just interesting. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.